Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, maybe you came by from Brittany's channel, welcome, I'm so happy to have you here. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, welcome back. So you may have seen that Outre dropped some new units from the Nisha Soft and Natural line, Nisha 204 and Nisha 205. Now, when I first collaborated with Outre on this release, when the first three units, 201, 202, 203 came out, it was absolutely insane. It was bananas. Literally, you could not find the Nishas anywhere for at least, I don't know, at least two weeks. A lot of people were intrigued by the fact that you had this kinky, hair natural texture but they were also coming in a variety of colors which really made this line stand out i did do several videos on the first line and i will link them in the description box down below with the first release i did collab with my girl britney aka the hearts and cake 90 and you guys really liked that so we were like yo let's just do it again part two what's up <laughs> So we are so happy to bring you these new releases and to hear your thoughts on them. Also, quick side note, Brittany just reached her seven year anniversary on YouTube, which is absolutely amazing. So when you go check out her channel, check out her videos, be sure to show her some love for reaching that milestone. I know me personally, Brittany, you already know, I'm so proud of you and what you've accomplished thus far. And you know, I love collabing with you. So make sure you go and show my girl some love. So this video is gonna go a little bit differently than I normally do. I know I normally like do a lookbook separately and then do the reviews after, but I'm just gonna do it all in one. So I'm gonna give you an update on Nisha 201, 202, and 203. Then I'll play the lookbook for you for the newer units and then we will go into the details, the nitty gritty on how I feel about them, how I style them, all that good stuff. So before we get into the lookbook, because I know y'all want to see it. I just want to give you a quick update on the first Nishas. So right now I am wearing Nisha 201 in the cinnamon spice color. I, I absolutely love this color on my complexion. I literally have worn this unit specifically. I know I've worn it at least seven times. In, in synthetic wig world, seven times is a lot. Sometimes you'll find after the third where you're getting like a lot of tangling at the nape area, some shedding and so forth. But the great thing about this line is that with the kinky, straight, yakky texture, it's going to last you much longer than your typical synthetic wig, especially ones that are on the silkier side. I normally stay away from those. Yakky is my thing. This whole collection is right up my alley. My favorite is honestly Nisha 203. I just loved everything about it. When I wear Nisha 203, I just feel like my best self. I feel super confident. I feel like I'm the sh <laughs> I just feel, you know, beautiful. And the fact that these wigs can come in such variety, you weren't seeing that. That's not something you were seeing with kinky texture wigs. It would be like your natural colors, one B number two. You might throw in like a 99 Jane, maybe a 30, and that was it. I was just super impressed overall with the coloring that Outre did. As far as the hairline, it's, it has like a slight pre-plucked hairline, as you can see here. I have a widow's peak, so sometimes I have to experiment. I try to snatch it back and add like a little bit of brown powder on top, and it seems to be working okay. And the texture itself is holding up. Now, this is not how Nisha originally looked. I did blow her out since then in order to maintain her. I know I've been raving about this brush for like the past few videos, but y'all gotta grab this brush from Amazon. It's the Revlon One Step Dryer. This is it right here. This is what I use to revive my straight units as of late. So literally, I turn it on, pull it through, the heat comes out of the top part of the brush, and it just comes back to life. If you are interested in this brush, this air dryer brush, I will leave it in the description box. So for you to check it out, it is an affiliate link. It's up to you, but I highly advocate for this hair dryer. Now, as far as the other units, my Nisha 202, that's a left side part wig. So honestly, after I reviewed it, I put it back in the pack and haven't really touched it since. I did experiment with putting it in the middle and the side, as you might have seen in the um, review video a few months ago. But overall, I didn't really touch it. However, my Nisha 201, which is my second favorite, let me show you that. This is what she's looking like, and she's looking really good really bouncy yeah she looks great i love this honey blonde color and i've worn this unit i would say a good solid six times and i did thin her out a bit i did apply a little bit of heat to the top but i haven't used my blow dryer brush on this one yet she looks so good y'all six times look at this look at me look at me <laughs> 
Ooh, this is my Nisha 203 in the dark color. My God, she is tang gold. Because I wear this the most. I've worn this like 15 times, y'all. And even though I've worn it so much, and yes, I have tangling at the nape, you will experience this with synthetic wigs. It's just inevitable. There is tangling and there is some shedding. But again, with this blow dryer brush, it just comes right out. <laughs> Y'all, yeah. look how easy that was. Literally blown out and the tangles are now out. She's feeling so soft like she originally does. And a little extra step that I would do if I had it, if you have a silicone based spray, those are really good for synthetic wigs because they protect it from, you know, things like the environment and fabrics that normally wear and tear on synthetic wigs. I also will leave a link to a silicone spray that I recommend in the com in the description box. But yeah, she's great. Now, of course, if this was brand new, I would be more gentle with the blow drying in order to keep the style but I've worn this like 15 times so I'm totally fine with just blowing it out straight. So that's my update on Nisha 201, 202, and 203. Even though 203 is my favorite, I do like the line as a whole and I love what Outre is doing with showcasing more natural textured hair. So I highly recommend everyone if you are into this type of texture and if you are into colors as well, definitely pick one up. I know you guys have been waiting to see the new ones on me and what colors I have. If you're ready for the lookbook, keep on watching. Got to do, got to do with it. Yeah. What's love? It's about us, it's about us, baby. What's love? Got to do, got to do with it, baby. What's love? It should be about us, it should be about us. What's love? Slow down, baby. Let you know from the gate, I don't go down, lady. I want a chick with thick hips and legs to lips. She could be the office type, but like the strip. Girl, you get me around, how you look in my eyes. But you talk too much, man, you're ruining my heart. I wanna lose the feeling, cause the roof is still in his own fire. You looking good for the getting, I'm a rider. Either in a hoodie or a linen or provider. To see the theory of my women, and I'm living it up. The squad stay filling the truck with chicks, willing to frizz with us. Uh, you say you got a man, and you're in love. But what's love gotta do with a little menage? After the party, me and you could just slap off you, and she could come through. What's love? To do, got to do. What's love? From the gate, I don't go down late. I'm on a chick with this kit that licks a lips. She could be the office site or like the street. So all of you saw the lookbook, what do you think? Drop me some comments down below, tell me what your favorite style is, your favorite color. If you're watching the premiere right now, chat with me and let me know how you are feeling about this collection as a whole. You know I love when y'all talk to me. All right, so let's just dive into the styling in my review. So I am back with Nisha 205. This is how I ended up styling her. So let's just dive right into the pros. So the first pro to this unit and to this line in general is definitely the texture. It's very soft, kinky, straight hair. I don't know what fibers they're using, but I really wish like other companies would get on it when it comes to our texture because this is soft, it's heat safe up to 375 degrees. What more can you ask for? It's just nice that knowing with this collection, I don't have to worry about any issues when it comes to applying heat to my units. Another pro to me is the style. It's definitely giving me this like 
70s fair faucet kind of vibe we all know fair was popping back then so i'm here for it i'm loving the flips and the curls and how they go in like kind of like different directions but it's still uniform to me now out the pack i did have to play with her because the curls were kind of going everywhere i finger comb and i used my wig brush and once i played with her enough i probably played with her for like a good 10 minutes I kind of got this and it was to my liking. Now this is a left side part wig. And if you know me, you know I don't rock with the left side at all. So I was like, let me shift it to the middle. Let me shift it to the side. And I decided upon the right side. I did have to trim the bangs more over here. And I did cut out a few, few pieces over here as far as layering so that it would frame my face better. Be mindful though that when you twist it, the ear tabs are gonna be off. So it's coming up here. But well, who's gonna be looking up at my head like that? Nobody. I'm totally fine with that. I like the parting space, it's very natural. It does go back like a good four inches. And another huge pro to this unit is the cap size. When I put this on, mind you, I have a medium sized head. I was like, oh, this is roomy. Like it was low key covering my ears halfway through a little bit. So if you have a larger head, like 22 and a half, 23 inches or more, rest assured, if you wear this wig, you will be good to go. Now let's talk about the cons to this unit. One con I would say, even though I love the style, it's just the density could be a con. I could see it being a con for some. This is definitely full, thick, luscious hair. So if you're into that, this is for you. For me, looking at how full and thick it was, I did feel the need to play with it more because it just wasn't vibing with me right away. Even now still, I kind of still want to thin this out a bit, even though I like it. So I would just suggest to make this work for you when you get the unit, play with it, you know, spend like a good 15 minutes or so um, finger combing it to your liking. As I always say, don't be afraid to pick up a pair of scissors because that can drastically alter the look of your unit. And of course, it'll in turn affect how you feel about the unit. I'm very big on making these wigs your own. I have no fear. If I want to trim, cut, shift it to the side, I don't care if it came as a middle part. If I want it as a side, I will push it to the side. If it's a left side part, I will try to make it work to the right. You have to make your wigs work for you. But overall, I'm feeling this one. Let's hop into Nisha 204. All right, fam, so I am back with Nisha 204. And right now I'm showcasing the DR4 Ginger Brown. I must say this color is very gorgeous. Very nice copper color. So the specs on the Nisha Soft and Natural line are all the same. It's pretty consistent throughout the unit. You have your two combs in the front, your comb in the back. You have adjustable straps. You do have parting that's either in the middle or on the side. In this case, this came in the middle, but I shifted it to the side. And the parting space goes back about four inches. It is a lace front wig. It does have lace that you have to cut and you can shift the part as you wish. Let me give you a quick 360 of this unit. All right, so let's get into the pros of 204. First pro to me is definitely this color. I love the way Outre has been doing their coloring with this line. It's not just a straight 30 or a straight 27 color or even a straight 99J. It's like this nice blend of colors and it might be, I hope you guys can see that in the sunlight, like you have the oranges, but you have like this rouge kind of purplish looking color here, a lighter like 27 color, 30 color here, and it's all throughout the unit. Wonderful blend. I absolutely love the coloring on this unit. I also like that it comes with a dark root and the dark root is not too harsh. It is a number four, which I do think is more appropriate for, you know, lighter colors. And it's nice that it's dark rooted throughout the wig. As I said before, the texture is a huge pro, very soft, very nice, very luscious, and it is heat safe, so that's a big plus. And I do like the general style of this unit. Even though I wasn't really feeling her in the middle, when I put her to the side, it was definitely giving me a look. It reminds me of when I used to go to the salon to get like a washing set, and you are coming out from under the dryer, and you had rollers in, you take them out, and it's like, bam, bam. <laughs> a nice fresh roller set, I really, like that. As far as the cons to this unit, even though 
I do like the style. I don't like the incontinuity when it comes to the curls. This is a curl here. I think that looks great. But then the curls back here are a little bit different. And I feel like these are the curls that if you were getting a roller set, they just didn't dry properly and they kind of curled every which direction. You see that? Like, I'm not feeling that. I just wish that the curls were the same throughout the unit. But this is gonna be a pretty easy fix. I'm just going to use my blow dry brush and kind of comb through it a little bit and see if I can blend it with these curls. So do you see what I did there? I had the dryer on low. I just wanted to kind of relax these curls a little bit. And I like that better compared to on this side. The curls are still looking a little, little all over the place. But on this side, it's flowing more seamlessly into the rest of the curls from the front. That's just something else you can do with the blow dry brush. Make the curls go the direction you want them to go. Something else I noticed that may be a con for some, the cap on this is definitely more snug than 205. 205 was very big, big head friendly. I feel like this unit might be a little bit more medium head friendly. Like if you do have a larger head, you'll probably have to squeeze in a little bit. For me, it is coming down to my ears and everything, and I am using the adjustable strap, but even when I first put it on without the strap suggested, I noticed right away a difference in snugness. But overall, that's all I really have to say about this unit. I actually like this one better than the 205. I think for the 205 unit, I had to do a lot more to make it look the way I wanted. Whereas this one, it was easier for me to just style it and have everything fall into place. Again, you can do what I did, use a blow dryer brush to shape your curls a little bit better. But yeah, this is looking really, really cute. One more thing I wanted to show you before I go. You see here how the lace is showing and I have it like slightly behind my hairline. Really easy fix for that is just to take any eyeliner that you have. You can use a pencil. Today I'm gonna use my liquid eyeliner and you can just literally fill that in. It is the summer months, it's gonna get low breeze so you know if this falls back I don't want people all up in my my stuff see what I mean it's really easy to just quickly fill that in and then you're good to go please let me know your thoughts on these new units in the comments down below how do you feel about my styling techniques and what I showed you have you tried these techniques on other wigs how did you feel about Nisha 201 202 and 203 do you have the same experience that I had drop a comment down below also let me know which one is your favorite of all five which one are you really feeling the most are you copying these let your girl know overall I'm really happy about this Nisha soft and natural line I just have one request outre one request can y'all please come out with like a bob style like a straight simple bob whether it be a side part or a middle part bob I don't care but if this texture was on a nice pre-plucked hairline bob what especially in these array of colors go outre get on that now if you are new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tap the notification bell because I have way more heat coming your way and I don't want you to miss it I really appreciate everyone who tuned in for my premiere thank you so much thank you outre for sending me these units for sponsoring this video be sure to check out my girl Brittany who always slays every time I see her and just in general she is such a lovely human being so Brittany thank you so much for this collab we are also on the road to 10k friends so if you've just joined welcome to the family and thank you all to everyone who's been on this journey with me thus far it's been awesome and I really really appreciate all of you if you want to check out some of my latest videos feel free to check them out over here to the right of me thank you all so much and I will see you in the next video Bye.